Alrighty gang, it's your girl Lee and I'm back with another banger. So by the title you can already tell we're doing a recreation look. So yeah. Uh so I had my creator friends drawing a template for me. So today we're going with this look. Yeah, but I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit because I don't think they know how good I am with this makeup stuff so um the palettes we're going to be using today or that i'm going to try to use are these two new amazon palettes that i got they were like nine dollars a piece so i'm going to try to use that my handy dandy mirror and y'all already know my base routine house size foundation Too Faced born this way concealer i got the benefit brow pencils on my eyes you know my dream blend my laura mercier my huda beauty my one size like y'all already know the basics so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you want i will leave a google docs um link for the template so that y'all can submit looks that y'all would like me to do so without further ado let's get into this video so first i'm gonna put my eyebrows on and then i'm gonna come back and yeah i'm gonna put no well maybe Maybe I can do my eyebrows on camera. I don't want this video to be too long because really I'm just doing a recreation look and I just really want to focus on this part. So yeah, I can do my brows on camera and I'm going to do my base and blush and all that kind of stuff off camera and I'm going to come back with the finished look. But everybody knows, you know, the brows, the brows are a statement. The brows are a statement. So making sure you comb product through your brows, making sure they're sisters, not cousins not mama and daddy basically so first thing that i do is i get my brow freeze and i forgot to do this last time that i did my makeup but after you put your brow freeze in there make sure you set that because having all that um product on there makes it real hard for you to do your brow shape because it's all oily and slick and I messed my brows up because I did not do that stuff. So I'm going to take the other side of the brush and I'm just going to flatten it out. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Just get that product on the brush and brush up. Not doing so much because we ain't got to do too much. You know what I'm saying? Taking that other side of the brush. Just flattening out. I've noticed that since my skin is cleared up, my level of confidence is so much. It's so much better. Like, I was confident before, but, like, you can't tell me nothing now. And, like, that's, like, the best feeling ever when you can't tell somebody something where your opinion doesn't matter to me because I know. I know. Now, I got my dream blend, but before I set, I'm going to shape these brows because, no, this is this is definitely not what we're giving. This is definitely not what we're giving. We don't want the laminated look. It's cute on certain people, but I'm not a laminated type of girly. So, I'm dipping into my powder right here on my powder puff, tapping it out. Always tap it out. And I'm setting my eyes. Well, not my eyes. Y'all, eyebrows. Y'all know what them things is. Setting them so they don't move. My hair, it don't move. So now I'm finna go in. I'm finna draw. Now I have realized that starting with this brow because I always get this brow right. So I start with this brow so I can try to match it up to this brow. But every single time, I never never they never become sisters they're like distant cousins i mean i be trying i really do i can't never get it they look better than what they did when i first started out i'll give you that i will give you that because when i first started out i couldn't do brows to save my life but this is like literally my favorite brow pencil so like i think it's this pencil. I just really think it's this pencil. And I really think that I don't have these, both of these brows arched the same. So that's probably why they're not giving the same effect. Because they're not arched the same. But I be trying, y'all. I really do. When I say I want them as sisters, I want them as sisters. I really be trying. I may get it today, though. I just have to see. I'm 
Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Turn me up. Don't turn me down. I might have made them sisters. Or like really, really close. I think I'm going to have to carve this one out just a little bit more when I get to, you know, carving them out. But I think I did pretty good. Now we're going to take another brush. You don't take the same brush that you were using with the gel product because it would make no sense. You just set your eye, your eyebrows. So why would you take that gel product and brush them out with it? Like it makes no, make it make sense. Basically make it make sense. Okay, I, I'm really liking it. I'm really loving it. Like, it's Mickey D's. I'm loving it. I think this is the best I've ever done my eyebrows on off camera. Like, on off camera. It don't even matter. I know I got something on my lips right now, but I like to get my lips moisturized because, like, yeah, they be getting chapped. So, I'm going in with some chapstick keep them moisturized but make sure before you do your lip combo or your one two three four five you take that off because then it's just gonna be messy and glossy unless you just want a glossy lip then okay yeah but if you're not looking for a glossy lip don't go looking for a glossy lip basically my other brushes down here because these are like my small precise brushes brushes that i use to carve out my brows um here go the other one. okay so look at the brows i haven't even carved them out yet and i'm already loving the result so right now i'm gonna go in with my la pro girl concealers these two shades right here um i'm using these shades espresso and i think this is foam yeah espresso and foam now i put um foam at the tail end of my um brows and then i put um espresso on the top and on oh my god it's broke how did it even it's broke y'all i'm mad i think i have another espresso i hope i have another espresso but this ain't gonna do i have a chestnut it's gonna have to work but espresso is broke and i don't even know how it's broke but like the top part is just like jammed up into the tube. So good thing I had something on already here. Okay. So I have these two shades on the back of my hand, as y'all can see. Now, I like to go in with this one with the foam. I don't know why, but I just feel like this brush is just more precise when it gets to that. And like I said, I only put that on my tail end. So we're going to do that real quick and clean it up. And then I like to bring it on down because I'm doing an eyeshadow look. So, might as well just bring it on down. But make sure you smooth the product, product out as much as you possibly can. Like, don't leave no lines and stuff like that. I try not to. Sometimes it happens, but I try not to. So, like I said, only the tail end. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side while I'm at it. The other side is a little bit harder because I like to flick my hand backwards and do the other side. I don't like doing anything with my left hand anymore because I noticed that I just be messing my stuff up when I try to go in and do it with my left hand. And ain't nobody got time. Nobody has time. I know I don't because I'm trying to perfect my craft, not mess up every chance I get. So, like I said, only the tail end and make sure you, like, smooth out the lines of that product so it's, like, not, like, no line. Okay, so now that I've used that one, 
gonna go in with this one and we're gonna use the shade chestnut now chestnut is a little bit too light for me but it's gonna have to work because espresso is broke which i'm really mad about that because like espresso why are you doing me like that you knew we had to do a makeup look today espresso you gonna break on me i gotta go get another one though this is the best my brows have ever looked let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it oh my god girl and to my man thank you to my man y'all that is stuck in my head stuck in my head and i just like to put a little bit right here i don't know why i do it but I do it and that's me so now I'm gonna get like a little bitty fluffy brush and I'm gonna buff this out I usually use the same brush every time which is this real techniques dupe that I found on Shein dupe with the same results we love a good fine babes we love a good fine love a good fine and I blend that out blend it out babes And to my man, thank you to my man. Okay. Now we're gonna go back in. And like I said, I carve out the front of my brows with the other color. It's like a method. It's just like, it highlights that back. As you can see, do you see the highlighting effect? I don't know if y'all can see it, but I see it. And I just love the way it looks. And then you blend it out and it just all comes together because like, girl, you did that? Yes, I did. I did do that. One thing I've learned with makeup over these past couple of months since I've started doing it like a lot again, take your time. Take your time because wherever you're going, you want to show up looking good. You cannot show up looking good if you rush your makeup. I used to rush and think I was eating down. <laughs> I still got a lot to learn. And I'm going to learn it within due time. But like one step at a time. One thing at a time. Like you're not going to be perfect the first time that you do it. Every single time that you do it, you're going to change something up. You're going to learn something new. Just, you know, roll with it. Don't try to knock it. But also stick to what you know. Because there's a lot of stuff that I've been trying. And I'm like, oh my god, why did I even try that? And it actually, you know what? But then there's other stuff that I've been trying. And I was like, this is supposed to eat down. And it don't eat down. And I'd be really, really mad about it. And I'd be like, so just stick to what you know. So just stick to what you knew. And to my men... Thank you to my man. It's just so satisfying when it all comes together and you're like, boom, babes, you did it. You did it. You did your beat one. <laughs> yeah, I love makeup. I did not know I did not know that I love makeup this much until I started back doing it again. Because I literally like stopped. I used to do makeup a lot. I know I probably said this before. Like if you were here when I first started my YouTube. I used to do makeup a lot in like 2020. Um, I did makeup for the first time for my 16th birthday. And I ate down. I thought I ate down baby. Baby I look casket ready. I can't believe these folks let me go to school looking like that. I'm really really mad at them. But you know growth. 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 You know better. So you do better. So, yeah, like I was looking a hot mess back in the, what was it? I turned 16 in 2018. So, yes, I was definitely looking a hot mess back then. But like I said, growth, you live, you learn. You're going to learn new things, try new things. Now, hold on. Before I get into the story story, I take the remaining color that's on my hand. I blend it all together and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow base. 
with eyeshadow primer, you know, color base. Because when you put concealer down or you put an eyeshadow base like P. Louise or whatever you use, um, it makes the colors pop like a hundred times more. So if you want that vibrant color, you want to really give it to the girls. Yeah. You're going you gonna to put some concealer down. You're going to put some, some down. I know that's right. Okay, but like I was saying, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I was doing it really, really, I was really into it back then. And, something on my lip. And, like, I was so passionate about it. I, like, I kid y'all now. I was up, getting up early in the morning every day just so I can put a little woot woot on my face. And walking out here looking like a hot mess and didn't nobody tell me, which... I really can't say nothing because couldn't nobody tell me nothing back then. No way. So maybe it was because they couldn't tell me or just because I wasn't listening. But anyways, I've grown so much with my makeup over the years. Like the base, the foundations, the color matches. Like I've learned so much about it because of the simple fact that like I was using the wrong foundation. Because I was using the wrong undertone. Like it was so much stuff that went into it. But yeah yeah i did not i did not mean to butcher myself like that but it happened and you know you live and you learn so i'm going in with this little transition shade and it's so subtle yet so mm, in your face like i said the i don't think my friends really know how good i am at makeup because I really don't showcase it like that. Because when I started back doing my makeup, this 2023 eyeshadow, I literally could not do it at all. I'm getting a little bit better. You know, day by day, I'm getting better. But I could not do a little make a little eyeshadow for nothing. And it's really, it was just really like killing me because I know I can do eyeshadow. Like I used to do bomb eyeshadow looks like rainbows with cut crease. Um blue yellow green with the cut crease like i was really eating the girls up and now i'm like i can't even do no simple cut crease soft glam look leah leah and so i was really mad about it but hold on let me show y'all this shade that i'm using because it's just like so subtle and so pretty this shade right here i'm not even sure what the name of the shade is because they don't have names this is the amazon palette babes and it was eight dollars but this shade right here and I'm just taking it and I'm using it as a transition shade. Well, I don't know. Because I really don't know nothing about no eye makeup. Like, for real, for real. I say transition shade, but this probably is like... I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. And y'all see it. Y'all see it coming together. Okay. So, after I use that shade, I'm going to go in on this neutral palette. Because I have a color palette and then I have a neutral palette. That was the neutral. No, that was the color palette. Wow. That was the color palette. So now I'm going to go in with a deeper, a deeper brown. And I'm going to put that right into that. So I think that is the transition shade. I think and I'm going to pack that right there. Pack it right there. Let me get my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Is this literally like the same color? Because if it is, then I need to change. Because I want a deeper brown. No, it's not the same color, but they're like in the same family. Like, they're definitely related. I need a deeper brown. I may have to use another palette because I don't think this has like a really, really dark brown. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this one is darker. I like this one. Do y'all see it? It don't matter if y'all don't see it. Y'all gonna see it when it come together.
Okay, now we're going to take um a black and just really deepen it up. Like, just give that, like, dramatic effect. Not too dramatic, but y'all know what I mean. I think I'm really getting how to like deepen stuff up and like darken it out because like at first I really didn't know what folks were talking about like deepening up the crease and transition shades and stuff like that like I, I didn't know what y'all were talking about I promise you I was just putting slapping colors on my slapping colors just slapping colors because it's all I knew honest to God's truth that's all I knew. Now this pack for this pa uh palette to be like eight dollars, this is very pigmented. And it's showing up really well. And I love the colors, especially on this nude one. Like it's really giving. It's really giving. I like it. And don't make the black a little too harsh. Because if it's a little too harsh, then I Okay, so now I'm going to cut the crease. So I need to get like a flat brush so that I can cut the crease. Get that sculpted look, babes. Um, here's my brushes. I didn't even know I put them over there. Wow. I think this one is flat enough for me to cut a crease with. But I don't like the fact that it's like angled and stuff. I don't like that. I don't want it to be flat, flat. But I also want it to give a lot of coverage because I'm not trying to sit up here and take forever to cut a crease. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this one. Look at the brush. She's eating. Um, Do I want to do a white base or do I want to do the nude? I think I should do the nude. Because this is like a nude look. Well, in my opinion, it's a nude look. I don't know. I'm just winging it here, guys. Not really. Okay. So I got a little of that base on my back of my hand. And this is the, the base. It literally says eyeshadow primer. I think I got it off AliExpress, to be honest with y'all. I'm not going to care. So when I cut my crease, I just get a little of that product on my brush as you can see and then I'm just going to put a light little thing on my lid and look up and it's going to tell me where to cut it I didn't know it was going to be that high oh well As always, try to smooth the product out as much as you can. And this is exactly the look I was going for. Like, mm hmm. And then we're going to clean that part up with some concealer because we ain't going to have no want want right there. No want wants. Some more of that product on there to do the other side. And also to kind of like make sure that this is going to stick and it's going to pick up that eyeshadow that I'm going to put on there whenever I decide what eyeshadow I'm going to put on there because I don't know just yet and then I like to tap tap that product into my eye basically okay 
that product. Do the same thing on the other eye. I did on this one. Go. Tell me where I'm gonna need to cut that crease. I'm sorry I'm so quiet, but this is just like really precise work. Like, you cannot mess up during this phase, or like you just might as well take everything off. And me, I'm the type that's gonna take everything off. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sit up here with my eyes looking like trash, so I'm just quiet right now. So, pat, 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 pat. So I cut the crease, of course. Now, like I said, I'm gonna clean up that part. So I'm gonna take the same brush that I used uh, for the concealer. And basically I'm just gonna shape it up. Y'all see it? Shape it up, shape it up, shape it up. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and blend it on out now the hardest part right here is deciding exactly what color i want to go in my crease because i have no idea i honestly don't i can't even tell you this oh my god i'm eating i'm eating i'm eating Ugh, i love it when my makeup looks coming out exactly like i thought they would so we cut the crease i think i want to do like oh, i don't know god i should call no never mind yeah it works Oh, what about a like a white shimmer? Hold on, let's see if it's gonna focus. Yeah, a white shimmer in that little crease right there. Is it gonna do what I need it to do, or is it too dull? Maybe I need to just pack it on. Oh yeah, just pack it on. Maybe I should mix the white shimmer with white and then like pack that white shimmer on too. I love how it's just gliding on. It's so freaking pretty. Now, I think what I want to do is bring these colors back. So, what I'm going to do is bring the colors back, like I said. Hold on. 
my brush fails, so now I gotta get a new brush. Y'all see that? Yeah. And then we're gonna take that black. Oh crap, I'm using the wrong brush. That black and deepen it up. Now, do I want to add liner to this makeup look? Or should I just keep it, you know, plain J? I think, for some reason, I want to add yellow liner to this. I don't know why. I don't want to add yellow liner to this. But if I can't find it, that's not going to add it. But if I can, I am. I can't find it. Maybe that's a good thing. Even some blue. Mm. God just telling me to leave it alone because he's like, if you put some on there, I'm gonna mix it up for you. And I, I'm, I'm just gonna go with you all day today. I'm just gonna go with you all day today. So this is the eye look. So I am gonna come back after I do my eye look with my full base routine, and then you're gonna see the eye look. So be right back okay guys so this is the final look it's really giving period i did the classic brown lip combo let me show y'all what i use for my lip combo this right here from your makeup store not your makeup store beauty supply store ruby kisses oh not the wrong one wrong one wrong one it's the Ruby Kisses um, lip liner. Hold on, I can't even find it now. I just had it. Oh, and I got this lip gloss from Walmart. It is so freaking cute. It's like $5. It's by Hard Candy. And I'm trying to find that lip liner so I'm not steering y'all in the wrong direction. Then y'all be talking about Leah. Why would you do this like that? You didn't deserve it. I know y'all don't deserve it. So that's why I'm trying to find y'all the right one. I literally just had it and now it's at the bottom of the barrel literally is this it yes this is it okay the ruby kisses improved formula formula auto lip liner and i got it in the shade dark brown but this is the final look i told y'all i was gonna do it a little different than what my girl said but you know
eat up every single time like what did you expect anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe also i think i'm gonna drop a google docs template like i said for y'all so that y'all can give me looks to do because i'm trying to get back on my eyeshadow stuff as y'all can see i'm a little rusty but that is okay because i'm only gonna get better and to my man thank you to my man i gotta get that out of my head it's just like it's there it's gonna continue to be there but i'm gonna give y'all some camera poses Like I said, this is the final look. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, leave some heat for me down in the comment section below. And if that's all, I will see you guys later. Everybody's like, he's no item. Please don't like him.